Okay, when we begin our notes, because you're not going to see me for a while, um, I want you to go ahead and set it up Cornell note style. And you're going to title um, this first one 8.3. And you're going to put the date on there. Um, you know what? I don't know what date you're doing this on, but I'm doing this on 12 14 Okay? And <clears throat> for the um, title, you want 8.3 and then it's solving proportions proportions no it's not solving proportions erase that it's solving problems using proportions with proportions Okay, that's your title. Now, all the notes I give you are going to go here. Notes and examples. So when I give you some examples, you're going to write them here. Um, you're going to see some things called WGU table. I'm going to see those in your notes. All right. Over here is where you're going to ask all those questions. Like, Ms. Valoto, what is, uh, how did you get the this number here for G or how do you find out what the missing number is all those things that you don't understand you're gonna write over here okay so that's our Cornell style notes all right um, we've been working with ratios and if you remember a ratio is when you compare like um, boys to girls, the number of boys to the number of girls, or the number of computers to the number of students. And it's always a comparison of two quantities, two numbers. So let's look at step one right here, um, or this whole example one. Sheldon and Leonard, this, why does that sound familiar? Is that from Big Bang Theory? I believe it is. I like him. He's funny. Sheldon and Leonard are partners in a business. Sheldon makes $2 in profits for every $5 that Leonard makes. If Leonard makes $20 profit on the first item they sell, how much profit does Sheldon make? Okay, so our story is how much Sheldon makes and how much Leonard makes. And that's the two things that they're comparing to each other. So... Uh, this st these step one right here, I'm going to teach you a strategy that's kind of like that, but a little more organized. So when I'm walking around while you're taking a test, this is a strategy that I want to see everybody using. It's called a WGU table. The W stands for words. The G stands for given. Oh my gosh, my handwriting is terrible. And the U stands for a known. Okay? And when you uh, set it up, it looks like a tic-tac-toe table. Okay, you just draw a big old hashtag, tic-tac-toe table, W-G-U. And so we have how much Sheldon makes. Okay, I'm just going to put Sheldon, shell like that. <sighs> Sheldon and then Leonard. I'm going to put Leo for Leonard, okay? Um, if you want to put a dollar sign so that you'll remember we're talking about money here. So Sheldon makes $2 in profit for every $5 that Leonard makes. So if you double it, you know, if you double Sheldon's amount, you have to double Leo's amount. The question... Um, it says, if Leonard makes $20 profit, how much will Sheldon make? Okay, so let's look at our WGU table. The words right here, Sheldon 
and Leonard uh, went in the words column. The given information is what they give us in the story. That's like the beginning. They're saying to begin with, Sheldon makes $2 for every $5 that uh, Leonard makes. The unknown comes from the question. It says if Leonard makes $20 profit, so we're going to put 20 right here. Okay, and it's saying how much does Sheldon make? We have to figure out how much this is right here. Okay. All right, so let's figure that out. I'm going to teach you a method that you're going to use from now to high school. What's 2 times 20? 2 times 20 is 40. Okay, you cross multiply what's there and then you divide it by the other number you haven't used yet. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. Okay, so for every $2 that Sheldon makes, Leonard makes 5. So if Leonard made $20, then that would make Sheldon have $8. Now one more thing we can do here to check it, 5 times what gives us 20? 5 times 4 does. 2 times what gives me 8? 2 times 4. Okay, those two are the same right here, times 4 times 4. And then the last thing you can do to double check is to cross multiply like this. What is 5 times 8? 40. What's 2 times 20? 40, which we did that already. Okay, so when we cross multiply, the amounts are the same. Okay, so this is a WGU table. Now, if you need to go back and rewatch this part of the video, you can. Okay, now we're. Um, using the same strategy, the WGU table, but we're um, using unit rates. So you have to get your information from the formula chart. And your formula chart is going to be your given information. So let's look at example two. It says the distance Allie runs in 36 minutes is shown on the pedometer. At this rate, how far could he run in 60 minutes? Okay. Um, gosh, the pedometer, I wouldn't have ever found it. It took me a little while to find it right now. Pedometer is right there. Okay, so you know what? We don't need our formula chart for this. I think we're going to need it in the next lesson. So our WGU table, okay, in words, we're talking about um, minutes, and then look at the word on our pedometer, miles, minutes, and miles, okay? The given is the beginning of the story, so Ali runs 36 minutes. And how many miles was that? It was three miles. Okay, so there's my given information. Remember, that's what G stands for. And U is unknown. That's our question. At this rate, how far could he run in 60 minutes? So I'm going to have to put that 60 somewhere. 60. Is it going to go in the top with the other minutes or the bottom with miles? You're talking about 60 minutes, so it's going to go up here in the same row as 60. Now, as before, I said... To find this, you have to cross multiply and divide. Now, folks, there's nothing to cross multiply here. 36 times nothing. So you have to go this way. 60 times 3 is 180. Okay? And then you divide by the other number. Or you can say, hmm, what do you multiply with 36 to equal 180? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just divide it the old-fashioned way, 36, and I see there's a zero there. Six times what gives me a zero in the end? Six times five, which is 30, carry my three, and then five times 
3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. All right, so that's going to be 5 miles. <clears throat> so in an hour, um, they're going to run 5 miles. Okay, there's another example of WGU. All right, so sorry, a lot of time has passed from the time I started making that video and today. See, I started making that video Monday, and here it is Sunday, and I thought I would have it on Edmodo. Anyway, um, so if you were waiting for stuff to show up on Edmodo, sorry. I I'm, I'm, hope you enjoyed your vacation. I did. Okay, let's go back to the uh, WGU table. Words given and unknown. And for this problem, it says the distance between two schools, right here, on Lehigh Avenue is shown on the map. What is the actual distance between the schools? So let's look at our map real quick. I'm going to bring it over here and zoom in. Okay, our um, scale right here would be our given information. It's saying one inch equals two miles. And um, the question is what is the actual distance between the schools? On the map, it's three inches, so we got to figure out what that is um, in real life. And you can figure that out. This is kind of an elementary problem, but please use a WGU table on these easy questions so that you get used to using it. I'm going to want to see it when I'm walking around. Um, monitoring you during the star test or during a unit test or whatever. I want to see these WGU tables. Um, okay, so the given is our scale. No, wait, we're not there yet. We're on words. But if you do look at the given, it's inches and miles. So inches and then miles. And our given is going to be what that scale says. One to two. The unknown, we have to look at the map, and that was three inches, so put it up here with the inches. And then let's cross multiply and divide. Two times three is six, divided by this number we haven't used yet. Six divided by one is six. And then I'm going to cross multiply, to see if my answers are equal, my, my ratios are equal. Two times three is six, one times six is six, the cross products are the same, so we're good.